As a new coach, let's say you are about to get some potential clients. Well, those clients are very likely going to be wanting to see some testimonials to confirm that you know what you're talking about. But if you're a new coach and you don't yet have a ton of testimonials and you need them to help you get new clients, then what do you do? <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about today, how to get testimonials as a new coach. I'm gonna break it down for you in four simple steps. So let's get right to it. The first step is to offer whatever it is that you help someone with for free in return for a testimonial. Now, let's break this down a little bit further because it can get uh, overly complicated and it doesn't need to be. So first, let's understand the point of a testimonial is for someone to be able to say in full integrity, hey, this person, aka you, helped me do this thing and get this great result and I can verify that this is the thing that happened. Now, the it, with that definition, it does not mean that a testimonial has to come from a paying client. This is a common uh, misunderstanding that a lot of new coaches have. If you can help someone get a result, then they can provide you a testimonial whether or not they paid you. The Whether or not you got paid is independent of whether or not the testimonial is a good, valid, truthful testimonial. Now, when you're starting out, very likely you have helped people you already know uh, with whatever it is that you're going to help people with. So you could start out asking your those people that you've helped for free for, hey, would you mind sharing a quick testimonial? And I'll get to in just a second how to do that in more detail. When I was starting out in uh, one of my first coaching businesses as a career coach, I went back to people who over the years I had given really great uh, career advice to who I basically mentored. And as a result, they had gotten raises, they had gotten promotions, they had found new jobs in different industries. And I said, hey, would you be willing to share a small blurb about how my advice directly and specifically helped you get this other result? They didn't pay me. I was kind of mentoring them as a friend, colleague, mentor, or manager, and that's okay. Because the again, the important thing is that my advice was able to help them. Now, that was for my coaching business. And if you've got some something similar for yourself where you've got people you've already helped that you can turn to for testimonials, great. However, maybe you don't. When I started my first online coaching business with uh, digital advertising consulting, I did not have that. I hadn't helped anyone in my network with ads before. I did that in my job, uh, but that, that felt a little bit different. And so I essentially had to start from scratch with the social proof. And so what I did was I went online and I thought about, okay, what is the smallest free offer that I can offer someone so I'm not having to do free coaching uh, for months and months on end. And so I came up with a ad, an ad audit that I could do in 30 minutes where I would look over someone's ads, they would go out and uh, use them, use the improvements, and uh, either share with me a quick uh, piece of feedback right away after the audit, or they would go and implement the changes I recommended and then come back to me and give me even more uh, results on what had happened after they'd implemented my advice. And so through doing those 30 minute audits, I was able to start gathering my testimonials. And so I'm using these examples to help you think through what can you do? Can you offer some sort of audit? If it absolutely has to be a slightly longer period, what I would do is I would be very careful about offering this to one or two people, no more than that being very clear what the container is going to be. We're gonna to work together for one month or two months or whatever that looks like. And our goal is going to be to get you to this. In return, if we have a great time working together, I'm not gonna charge you anything. All I ask is a testimonial at the end. Does that sound good? So being very clear about those boundaries uh, from day one. But I have to say at this point, having helped well over a thousand uh, students through my different coaching programs and courses, I haven't yet seen any case where there's not some sort of shorter, upfront, free audit, coaching session, et cetera, that you can offer to start getting those testimonials. Step number two is to go ahead and make sure that you ask for the testimonial. As simple as this step sounds, you'd be surprised at how many new coaches kind of balk at this. The thing is, if you don't ask, 
no one's going to know that you would appreciate a testimonial from them. And the thing is, you want to come across as very strong, very confident, very clear. You're not really asking someone for a favor. You're just saying, hey, I helped you get this amazing thing. Uh, and we either already talked about you giving me a testimonial before we did this thing or it happened. And I, I just love to get a testimonial from you and I would appreciate it. It really is that simple. And I found that overall, there are some exceptions, but those are few and far in between. Overall, when you've helped someone do something cool that really has helped them, they're happy to give you a testimonial. And so I would make that very clear. Ask, hey, would you mind uh, sharing a testimonial so that I can let others know whatever it is I'm doing and I'm legit and I know what I'm talking about. All of those amazing things. So being very clear about the ask, that's step number two. Step number three is to make it easy for someone to give you a testimonial. Now, this is really important because a very common mistake might be to just ask someone, hey, would you be willing to give me a testimonial? Just write it and send it over. And what happens is often someone might want to give you a testimonial, but that feels really intimidating, right? They're thinking, okay, I need to write really formally. I need to make it a big deal. And then they get in their head and then they get busy and then they forget. So you want to make it really easy for them and I like to do one of two things. I either like to send over a list of questions that they can answer and I'll say, hey, just go ahead and answer these questions, super simple. And then I'll put them into a paragraph or a case study or whatever, and then you can get final approval if that feels good to you. So you're making it super easy for them so they don't have to sit down and think through, okay, how exactly do I write this for someone? And so those questions can often be about, what was it like before we started working together in whatever area I helped you with? What was it like afterwards? What was the experience like working with me? Were you happy with our experience working together? What results did you get? And can you be as specific as possible? If someone were thinking of hiring me, uh, would you recommend that they do so or not? So those are the key questions that I usually recommend asking if you are going to use that format. The other format, which is, mm, I don't want to say just as easy, but also pretty straightforward, is to ask someone to hop on a quick video interview with you where you ask them the same questions I just shared, but in a little bit more detail and have a conversation. So you guys are having this conversation you recorded and that's the testimonial. And then in the future, you can take whatever exact script you guys talk through on the video and use the text as a text testimonial as well, whichever one works best for you. That's also easy for someone because all they have to do is show up for five, 10 minutes on a video, answer your questions, and they are done. So the key here is whichever format you choose, and it doesn't have to be fancy or complicated either way, you make it easy for that person to give you a testimonial. The fourth and final step to wrap all of this up is really important. Make sure that you focus on results. Now, here's the thing. The results apply no matter what kind of coaching you do. So even if you do something quote unquote intangible like confidence coaching, what you'll focus on is what, what was your confidence like? Give me an, an example of what your confidence was like before we started working together. Now, if we did a 30 minute confidence coaching session and we worked on your confidence in a specific situation, let, let's say like talking, speaking up at meetings, right? Okay, well, what was it like speaking up at a meeting before our coaching session? What was it like afterwards at your next meeting? So what they're doing is they're describing the situation and the very tangible differences, which is, just uh, as good as a result as I lost X pounds, I uh, gained this much of a salary increase. So no matter uh, if what you're doing is quote unquote tangible or intangible, there's always a result kind of focus that you can have, have someone uh, speak to. So really make sure that you focus on that in some way, shape or form with the caveat, of course, that sometimes in a short audit or 30 minutes, it can be tough to say, oh my gosh, I got this amazing life changing results. So focus on what you can. That's why you want to try and be as specific as possible. Like the example I just mentioned, you want to do that instead of focusing as I see a lot of testimonials do on this person is just so nice. They're so sweet. I mean, that's great. But when you think about a potential client who's looking at your testimonials to want to hire you, that's not necessarily going to be so much of a needle mover, right? All right. So those are the four steps to go ahead and get some awesome testimonials right out of the gate as a new coach so that you can share with the world. Hey, I know what I'm talking about and help you get your next or first paying clients that much faster. If you found this helpful, I do have another great video for you on the 
the five mindset shifts to use to crush it as a new coach, especially in this year. I'm gonna have that video for you somewhere on the screen and or in the uh, description below. And as I'm saying this, I'm remembering, I think it's four mindset shifts, not five, but you get the idea. Really great and a really important mindset shift. So I highly recommend you check that out. And uh, I also have a great PDF for you on the 20 second script to use to get your first or next paying client. So again, that's gonna be somewhere on the screen and or in the description below. If you want it, go ahead and click on that link so that you can get it. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit subscribe to be notified when I release a new video on building your online coaching and or course business every single week. With that, that is it for today. Thanks so much for being here and I will see you next time.